Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Final Cut Help. Today, we're going to look at one of my favorite $99 add-ons to Final Cut. It's not a plug-in in the literal sense. Rather, it's a USB device called the Turbo .h.264. What works so great about this device is it accelerates the H.264 encoding you could do on your Mac. And we use this all the time at my shop, Red Pixel, to go ahead and get cuts ready to post for client review. Let's see how it works. I'm inside a Final Cut, and what we can do here is just quickly mark out our sequence. So let's hit it I for in, go to the end of the sequence, and O for out. And what we're going to do is export a reference movie. So I'll say File Export QuickTime Movie. Now, if you check the box Make Self-Contained, it's going to permanently write the file into that, and that's fine. But if you want to save some space and it's just a temporary compression, like you just need to make the compression and you don't need that file after that, you can uncheck the self-contained box, and it's called a reference movie because it references the original media on your hard drive. If those hard drives aren't there or they move, well, then the reference movie no longer works. In this case, though, it'll be fine. Let's just uncheck self-contained, and we'll save off this montage sequence. Press Save. And it quickly writes it to disk. I'll then switch on over to the Turbo software and click the plus button to add a movie. There it is. We'll select it and press choose. The file is added in and it asks you what format would you like to convert it to. Now this device is designed for iPods and Apple TVs, so there's a lot of useful presets right in there. You'll see here we've got iPod High, iPod Standard, Sony PlayStation Portable, iPhone, YouTube, etc. Let's go right with the YouTube setting in this case, and it'll go right out to YouTube for publishing. Pretty cool, right? So you can go right from the device directly to your YouTube account for the client to review. And remember, YouTube pages can be set to private or invitation only. So if you want a free online review and approval service, you can use YouTube for that matter. I'll click Cancel here for a second, and let's actually make this so we could put it on the client's iPhone. And that looks pretty good. And I'll press Start. Now it takes just a second, analyzes the movie, and then it goes to town. This is a one-minute clip, but you're going to see here that it starts flying through. And it's literally processing somewhere between 15 and 30 frames a second. Well, that's, in this case, faster than real time in some cases, because this is a 24p sequence. So this device is going to give you close to, if not better, than real time performance. Here, I'm using my MacBook Pro to do the processing. This chip enhances the speed of your computer's processor and really offloads a lot of that H.264 work right to the $100 USB device. By the way, it's done. Let's take a quick look at how that file came out. I'm in QuickTime here. Let's just open that up. Here's the MPEG-4 file. It's in the correct size for an iPhone, 480 by 270. And that looks fantastic. Notice, nice and clear, good color, not a lot of blockiness, really, really fast in code. So, Nice and simple there. Really cool device called the Turbo.h264. Plus, the other thing a lot of folks don't realize is that it actually loads its own codecs into your system. So if you don't want to use this little batch processing software that it comes with, you can go right out of your Final Cut timeline. Let's see how that works. Jump back to Final Cut. We've got our ins and out points marked, and we could say File Export Using QuickTime Conversion. With that picked, we simply go to Format, and you'll see that we have the different presets there, iPod, iPhone, etc. Let's go right back to the iPod setting this time, and we'll call this Montage iPod, and click Save. It does the processing, and it engages that faster codec, and you'll see right here it speeds right along as well. So. I like that batch processing software that it comes with because I could just export a bunch of reference movies and then dump them in and do all of my encoding at once. But even right within Final Cut, you could access this faster encoder using the QuickTime conversion method. So be sure to check that device out. That's the Elgato Turbo. Really, really useful. We use it all the time here at my own facility. Great way to get cuts ready for emailing to clients, posting on the web, transferring to iPods or Apple TVs. 
Just a really great big time saver. And you know, nothing's more fun than sitting there watching your computer compressed video. So I think it's a $99 well spent. My name's Rich Harrington. Thanks for joining us for this week's edition of Final Cut Help. Be sure to head on over to creativecow.net where you can check me out in their Final Cut forums answering questions and also offering up new tutorials. Thanks again.